happy Thursday. This is it, almost at the end. You're so like in the clear right now. <laughs> if you can get through today, you've got it aced, right? Good morning, good morning. Grab your cup, drink your coffee, and we are gonna talk about divine timing. Ooh. <laughs> It kind of goes along yesterday with the uh, going with the flow a bit, right? Good morning, everybody. All right, I'll wait a minute. Good morning, Don. Hello, hello. Good morning, Shelby. Good morning. Oh, hello. Shelby, I hope to see you in March when uh, Chris Drew is here. It is going to be fantastic. Hey, Evie, how you doing? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So, uh... Yeah, tonight actually is live with uh, me. I'm going to take some callers on there, so make sure you guys try to call in if you can. It's at 5. Good morning, Julie. Hello. Good morning, Kelly. Nice to see you. Nice to see everybody coming in. And uh, hi, Sam. Good morning. All right, we're going to... Hi, Drew. We're going to talk about... Um, I know you can, you can make anything happen, Shelby. <laughs> We're going to talk about divine timing of all things, okay? Um, a lot of times we will be pushing along, right? How many times are you trying as hard as you can at something? You're trying, you're trying, you're trying, and yet it's not happening or it's not, you know, the success isn't right there in the way that you see it or feel it or need it. Or uh, you're waiting for this job opportunity. You really want it. You thought you did great. It didn't work out for you. You're trying desperately to have a family, to have children, to get pregnant. It's not happening. So we get frustrated, right? We start to say, oh, I'm not meant to. Oh, the universe is telling me no. Well, it's not exactly it. It really honestly could be divine timing in which... We are trying to, again, control the circumstances, control the timing, but not trusting the divine timing. Maybe something needs to happen in order for what you're wanting to manifest. And yet you're trying to skip A to get right to B. And so it's not happening. The divineness, the spirit world, hi Kara, needs A to happen. So they're going to keep putting a little monkey wrench in there until you get A resolved, right? Because although you may be able to get to B, you'll never get to Z because you didn't create the tools needed in A. Is that too much math? Are we getting too confused? <laughs> um, but you know, here's the thing. When we can really... Hi, Natalie. Hi, Bonnie. Hello. Yes, I can't wait. When we sit there and say, wait a second, I am going to sit there and look at what is it I need in order to manifest what I've been going for, in order to try it. Let me also trust this divine timing. And, you know, a lot of times we look at, well, why did it take so long? Well, it probably took so long so that you could be emotionally ready so that you could purge whatever needed to be purged. Perhaps there's some emotional stuff that needed to be looked at, that needed to be released before you actually are at the place that this is going to be successful for you, this new step, right? Good morning, Shelly. So Spirit says, wait a second, you got to work through all of this, sweet pea. You're just trying too hard. Slow down, look at this, work on it and trust the divine timing. And when it's supposed to happen, it will. As long as we're doing the parts we need, as long as we're trusting, we are surrendering, we're being proactive without being controlling, right? Oh, there you go. That's a tough one, isn't it? <laughs> All you control freaks out there, I know who you are. Good morning, Brooklyn. Hi, Greech. Hey, hi, Kathy. So when we can let go and say, okay, what do I need to learn in order for this to happen? So when things are not working out as well, look at spirit. You know, we get, we just don't put enough trust in them in understanding the divine timing that we're trying to manifest this over here when really they're saying, hey, it's not this, honey. It's not this. It's actually this piece over here. 
And when you go for this piece, it's going to go ahead and go. We're going to light it up for you. So looking at it and saying, all right, the timing just isn't right. A lot of people, you know, they want that, that partner right now, right now, right now. But yet they got stuff to work on, right? There's some emotional or maybe some triggers or maybe um, some past wounds that need to be healed. But rather than heal from the relationship, they're trying to jump right back in one. You know, a little bit of that codependency maybe. But whatever the case may be, Spirit's going to say, no, because we want you to work on you. We want you to trust and dig and lift and move through what needs to be moved through so that when you are in that relationship, right? It's exactly what you have been looking for. It is what you wanted. It will be long-term. Good morning, Jim. Hi, Sean. You know, but if we keep jumping and we keep trying to not trust that divine timing, we're going to sit there and get ourselves all messed up. You're going to just end up kind of creating some mistakes and mistakes aren't the end of the world. We're we'll learn and grow. But at that point, we are using our free will to throw in the monkey wrenches that may be delaying the manifestation of that in which we are truly seeking. Wow. That was, that was, I don't know where that came from, <laughs> but I'm going to, I'm going to put that in quotes somewhere. I'm going to have to watch this back, right? Good morning, Tara. But it's true. We all can learn from this. We can all grow from this. We can all sit there and say, but I'm really ready right now. And they're saying, no, you're not ready. But I am, no, but no. And once we say, okay, hang on a second. Once we say, all right, I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to trust you. I'm just going to understand what needs to happen. Okay. I think so. Right, Shelly? I was like, what, what just happened there? <laughs> but when we can trust that divine timing has our back. When we can trust that they're not going to move us in a direction we're not ready for, that they're not going to give us something that we can't handle, and that they will present it to us when we are truly in the space and place of being accepting of what is being given to us. That's when it will happen. That is divine timing. Good morning, Paula. Oh, it is Colorado snowing. That's why I don't live in Colorado. <laughs> Good morning, Julie. All right. So that is your, your inspirational talk for today. Okay. Really trusting that divine timing. Try not to get frustrated. Try not to get, you know, upset. Try not to get sad. Really sit there and say, okay, what do I need to do here? What do I need to learn? Rather than rushing it along, look at just understanding and being filled with gratitude for where they've placed you and the fact that they care so much that they're making sure everything is set and ready before bringing in that next opportunity. Okay. Uh, love to you in the panhandle. Love to you. I will be in Orlando a couple weeks, but we are sending lots of love to the panhandle right now. So thank you, Natalie. Thank you, Tina. So for tonight, you guys, if you are around at 5 p.m. Pacific time, call into the show. See if you can get online. Ask me a question, right? They're free little insights here. Rapid fire. 323-992-3115. 323-992-3115. And you have to just call in. Uh, don't send me a phone number or anything like that because... Odds uh, are you won't get called that way. It's so random. So just truly trust it. Trust the divine timing that if you get through, <laughs> I will be in New Jersey tomorrow. I will be on a plane at 10 a.m. So there will be no coffee with Colby tomorrow. I know. Let's just take a moment of silence. But I will be back on Monday. Okay, so join me tonight. If you're in New Jersey, sign up for that wine and spirits. If you're in Orlando, come see me at the venue. But other than that, I will see you tonight and I'll see you Monday at 10 a.m. Lots of love, everybody. Remember, shine your light and shine it bright. Have a great day. Bye, everybody.